When the Children's Museum first um, opened up, this piece of property that we own was really underdeveloped. It was just a barren patch of, of um, bare grass and there was some trees but not much else, a sandbox and a picnic table. It really was not very appealing at all. It didn't have much to offer the family so at a certain point we decided that we would love to develop it further and we were we applied for and we got a federal matching grant and then we of course had to raise more additional money to match that but um, we had some funding in place so that we could develop this and our vision was to really just do a, a nice safe um, developmentally appropriate um, space for kids and families to explore nature to feel connected to nature um, to learn about how to take care of plants um, and you know our butterfly friends. So um, we put together a team of community members and staff and board who came up with a plan. We worked with a, um, a professional design group called Cog Design, who was fabulous. Um, they do pro bono work and they did the design for us. And two years ago, we opened this. It's called the Wild Place. So we started the garden. This portion, the butterfly garden, was only half the size. But this season, we decided we really needed to expand it because it was so popular and it was, we needed more space to do what we, we really wanted to do. I was a farm boy. Well, I was a farm boy when I was young enough so I didn't have to work in the farm. Uh, we moved down here when I was six. I was born in Vermont. And uh, we lived in Marlboro downtown, so I didn't get too much then. My mother always had a small garden. And uh, then I went to college and the military, and then I lived in Boston for 20 years. So in those years, I didn't I really have very much. Uh, moved down here in 92. My mother loved gardens. My father had just died, so she moved in with me because I was the only child, and she was quite old at that point. But, uh, she loved flowers, and there was no garden back here. I had lived alone for 20 years and loved a little peace. So I said, you know, the perfect thing. When I come home from work and you want to talk and I don't, I'll go out and build you a garden. <laughs> So for many years, I would come out here after coming home from work and work on the garden. And she loved it. Uh, so it worked out well for both of us. I learned to love the garden. And uh, that's it. Uh, she passed away six years ago. And uh, I was always going to move back to the city uh, when she was gone. But uh, yeah, I found that now that I've retired, the seed just isn't right for me. Mm -hmm. This is.